I've learned a lot of things along the way, and I believe sharing them helps you to achieve your target score in the IELTS exam. Let's start. The first lesson I wish I knew earlier when I started preparing for the IELTS exam was preparing for IELTS with friends. Maybe one of your friends is good at vocabulary. Maybe another one is good at grammar. When you study together, you can share what you know to your friend and your friend can also share what he or she knows, which helps you to understand it better. Think of learning English as playing a game with your friends. You can create stories, you can create puzzles and solve them using English words that you're learning together. Even some of the things that are difficult becomes easy and fun because you can learn and laugh together. Sometimes preparing for IELTS might seem scary. But when you're with friends, you feel braver. When you have your friends around, it can be so helpful so that they can cheer you up and celebrate your successes. You can have speaking mock sessions and write essays and give feedback to each other. You can even listen to English songs or watch movies together to improve your listening skills. When you prepare for the IELTS exam with your friends, you will be more confident to take the IELTS exam. Plus, if you make mistakes, it's okay because your friends are there to, to help you learn. Moving on to the second lesson, that is not having a strong why. Let's imagine you're training to run a marathon, very big marathon. Having a strong why is like having a powerful reason to run that race. Just like in a rain, there are times where you want to stop. But if you have a strong why, like proving to yourself that you can do this, this helps you to keep going, even though when your legs are like jelly. Just like having a strong reason to run a marathon or a race is so helpful to boost your confidence, even in the IELTS exam, having a strong why can be important for your confidence. Whether it's to study abroad, work, or get a better job, or communicate with many people, knowing your why helps you to know that you are working towards something that is meaningful to you personally. In a race, you might feel obstacles like hills or any other challenges. Similarly, while preparing for the IELTS exam, you might face some challenges. But if your reason to take the IELTS exam is strong enough, you will definitely find a way to overcome these setbacks because you want to achieve your goal. When you achieve your desired score in the IELTS exam, whether it is to study abroad or get a better job, you will definitely feel a sense of pride and satisfaction and you will think that you've achieved something and you've achieved your goal. And you definitely know that your hard work has paid off. Just like having a strong reason for running a race keeps you motivated, focuses and determined to reach the finish line, having a strong reason for preparing for the IELTS exam keeps you on track towards achieving your goal no matter what challenges you face along the way. The third lesson I wish I knew when I started preparing for IELTS is vocabulary building regularly. Imagine that you are a chef who is preparing for a huge competition. Just like how a chef needs different types of ingredients to make tasty dishes. Building your vocabulary for the IELTS test is like collecting all the right words for perfect answers. Imagine if all the dishes in a cooking competition tasted the same. This wouldn't be very exciting, right? Similarly, using different types of words in writing and speaking helps you to vary your language. Instead of saying the same thing over and over again, my suggestion is to use different types of words. Even in listening and reading parts of the IELTS test, building vocabulary can be so important because it helps you to understand the text. So, just like a chef who needs different ingredients to make tasty dishes, 
Having a big vocabulary helps you to make great answers in the IELTS test. Let's move on to lesson number four, which is being honest. Imagine you're playing a game with your friends and being honest means to tell the truth and be fair. So when preparing for the IELTS test, being honest is like playing a game of studying fairly. Just like playing a game becomes more fun when everybody is following the rules, studying for the IELTS test is going to become more effective when you will be honest about your strengths and weaknesses. When you pretend you understand something when you don't, miss out on learning about that thing. So, being honest helps you to focus on the areas where you need improvement. Imagine. If you pretended to be really good at a game, but then you struggled when it was your turn to play, it wouldn't feel good, right? Similarly, if you're not honest about your English skills when you're preparing for the IELTS exam, you might feel nervous or unsure during the actual exam. But if you're being honest about your English skills and you understand your weaknesses and work on them, you will feel much more confident during the actual IELTS test. If you're struggling with a game, you might ask your friends for tips to get better, right? Similarly, being honest while preparing for the IELTS exam allows you to achieve your target score in the IELTS exam so that you can improve your weaknesses. Moving on to the next lesson I've learned and I wish I knew this much earlier when I started preparing for the IELTS exam and that is managing time effectively. Managing time effectively ensures that you have time to study all the different parts of the IELTS test reading, writing, listening and speaking. This way you're well prepared for every aspect of the IELTS test. It means finding a balance between studying for the test and doing some other things that you enjoy, like hobbies or spending time with friends and family. This helps you to prevent burnout and keep you motivated. It's about organizing your study materials and resources. This includes keeping track of deadlines, setting goals and breaking down your study sessions. Managing your time effectively while preparing for the IELTS test includes planning when to study, doing other activities that are fun that you enjoy, and staying organized so that you cover all the topics that are needed for you to succeed in your IELTS exam. It helps you to feel ready and confident for the IELTS exam while making studying less stressful. The next lesson I wish I knew when I started preparing for the IELTS exam is focusing on the quality rather than quantity of practice tests that I take. Taking a few practice tests is much better than taking a lot of practice tests and feel overwhelmed. It is much better to focus on quality practice rather than doing a lot of practice without learning anything from those tests. Try to analyze every single question in your test and identify the mistakes that you're making and then identify some common question type that you're having a lot of your mistakes on. And then my suggestion is to work on those question types and send them into your strengths. Also, don't forget to look out for distractions and be aware of lots of different types of distractions that you are having while taking those few tests rather than doing lots of those tests. Lesson number seven that I wish I knew when I started preparing for the IELTS exam is not knowing every single word in the IELTS reading section is actually normal. Sometimes you can figure out the meaning of a word by just looking at words around it or the, sen the overall structure or the overall context of that sentence. It looks like solving a puzzle. Even if you don't have all the pieces, you will definitely still guess the idea of what it looks like. Instead of getting stuck in every single unfamiliar word, my suggestion is to focus on the key information in the passage.
Looking for more important information helps you to identify the correct answer instead of getting stuck in every single unfamiliar word. If you come across a word that you're not sure about, my suggestion is to make an educated guess. You might be thinking how. And you can make an educated guess by looking at the sentence or by looking at the sentences before that or after that or looking by just looking at the paragraph the main idea of that paragraph when you make an educated guess you might not get it exactly right but you will definitely get it closely enough to understand the passage overall finally remember that it's okay to not know every single word we are humans and we can we might not know every single word and my suggestion is to not make yourself panic in the real exam when you don't know a word and stay calm when you encounter an unfamiliar word. So, stay calm, use the strategies you've learned and do your best overall. Lesson number 8 I wish I knew when I started preparing for the IELTS exam is to schedule in learning or Scheduling means to plan everything when you do those things. When you have a schedule, you definitely know when to do tasks and what to do in the specific time frame. And this helps you to stay organized so that you cover all sections, all the topics that are needed for you to achieve your target score in your IELTS exam. Just like you need a plan for, the, for a birthday party, in IELTS exam, you will definitely need a plan so that you know when to do specific tasks. Before the party, you might create a to-do list where you write down what you're gonna do before your birthday party. For example, you might write decorating or baking a cake or inviting friends. Similarly, in the IELTS exam, when you're preparing for the IELTS exam, you will definitely need to write down what you're gonna do to achieve your target score. When preparing for the IELTS exam, scheduling means breaking down your study tasks and practice reading one day, listening in another day, and so on. Even though you're busy preparing for a birthday party, you will still take some time to do stuff that you enjoy doing. For example, watching a movie with your friends or spending time with your family. And the most important thing, even in the IELTS exam, is that you enjoy on the day of a party. You will definitely feel excited and ready to celebrate. Similarly, in the IELTS exam, because you've prepared everything and because you've planned it down every single task that you had to do and did all of those, you will definitely feel confident and ace your IELTS exam and you will definitely get your desired score in the IELTS exam. If you want the ultimate guide on how to improve your IELTS writing academic task 1 score, I recommend you to watch the video that you can see somewhere on the screen.